Welcome back to Holder Flat, and the first of a three part series of coverage from the RSA's Ulster Grand Prix here at the Nuts Corner Circuit in aid of Cash for Kids. And up first in episode one, it's a cross cart challenge sponsored by Kaz Card Hire and Dale Kane Trailers. It's now well known the world over that cross carts are one of the cheapest ways of going ridiculously fast in competition. With a part weight ratio similar to a modern day supercar, it's easy to see why it's become the fastest growing form of motorsport on this island. And it's easy to see here at the RSA. With 45 examples entered across three classes, with eight different manufacturers being represented. So let's get the action underway and let these pocket rockets loose on stage one. And fastest time over the opener goes to the class 14 750cc speed car of Johnny Stinson. Johnny would admit that the racing circuit type tracks suit his driving style, so this is the perfect start for the Armand man. And risking it on slicks nearly pays off for the joint points leader David Keane. But the patchy conditions see the Kazmat go 0.9 of a second slower than Stinson to sit second. There's a small gap back to the third place man Jason Curran in the leading MV. He stops the clocks with a 238.1, 2.8 off Kane and 3.7 off our leader. Oma's Kevin Mina is 4th in the KMS Kazmat, just 0.3 of a second behind the MV of Curran. And it's getting proper tight as James Laverty is only a further 0.4 of a second back in 5th. With the MVs of William Armstrong and Chris Irwin tied on time for 6th. That means Philip Borland in the King car is 8th, 5.7 seconds off the lead. And there's another tie for 9th place between the speed car of Cormac Phelan and the Kazmat of Daryl Colbert. This fast paced formula just never disappoints.
By stage 4 the conditions are still just as changeable, but David Kane is making the slicks work on a drying line. He is now our leader by 2.8 seconds. And Johnny Stinson has now also opted for the slicks, but is losing out to the superior power of Kane's Kazmat. He will surely still be happy in second. Jason Curran is doing a solid job. He's still in third place, but there's a stack of drivers close behind. Up a position into fourth is James Laverty. But he will need to keep the push on, as Cole Chambers is just 0.1 of a second behind him in fifth, and is really on a charge with commitment over the finish line like this. Chris Irwin is still in 6th and will be looking to dig deeper into that top 6. As a joint points leader coming into this event, valuable points will be slipping away. <laughs> Round 5 sensation Connor Shaw is now 7th, 13.3 off the lead. Seamus Donnelly has also broke into the top 10 in 8th place. Garth Greer is 0.4 of a second further back in 9th. And Kevin Mina rounds out the top 10, 16.2 seconds off the leader, Kane.
hope you're all enjoying our coverage from here at the RSA. You can support us by hitting the like button and leaving a comment below. You can also get your video requests in by sending us a message over on our Facebook page. And after that shameless plug, let's get to the final results. Starting with a 600cc class 13 and third place goes to Adam Dunlop. Second place goes the way of speed car driver Michael Boyle. And the winner of class 13 today is Philip Armstrong. In class 14, Gareth Greer has a fantastic run out to take third. Second place goes the way of Chris Irwin. It's County Downs Jason Curran who takes the Class 14 victory. Now on to the big yokes in Class 15. James Cassidy takes third place. Second place goes to the Advanced Engineering backed MV of Michael Muldoon. But it's that other Oma man Kevin Mina who takes a Class 15 win. And finally to the overall cross court challenge result in third place on the podium goes to Cole Chambers. Johnny Stinson tried his hardest but had to settle for second. And it's the second maximum points haul of the series for David Kane who takes the win here at round 6. And finally here's how the top 10 played out in the RSA Cross Car Challenge sponsored by Dale Kane Trailers and Kaz Kart Hire. Up next in episode 2 we check in with the MX5 Parts NI Rally Championship and a record breaking mini cup entry. So stay tuned. <laughs>